Hi, it's Martin Baer from Moish. Just a short update on the changes to the or proposed changes to the civil justice system. Okay, so the bill has now had its second reading in Parliament, um, and uh, as you would, if you're going to introduce a bill that's going to change civil justice for a generation, you call it the Legal Aid Sentencing and Punishment of Offenders Bill, and that way all the press interest focuses on um, the provisions about knife crime um, and sentencing. And the Secretary of State made a fool of himself on the radio um, talking about that aspect, but he also made a fool of himself on Radio 4 um, on the Today programme when he got his numbers wholly and totally wrong as to the cost of uh, clinical negligence, medical negligence if you like. Um, he was caught out by that, caught out on that, but not until the following day. But of course by then his false figures are in the public domain. And that is the way this debate has been going. We've be, the debate has been sidetracked away from the real issues and it's, it's the point of being depressing because those who know have not been asked and when they have been asked they've been ignored. The bill they've published doesn't do anything on the topic of referral fees. Equally the referral fees thing is limited primarily to road traffic accidents. We've seen it on the TV that the, the industry which operates around road traffic accidents, which is at the behest of the insurance industry, let nobody tell you that it's at the behest of the victim or the victim's lawyer. It is not. So now we have a debate, whilst there's a bill now in committee stage of Parliament, a bill going through uh, which provides nothing Makes, has no provisions at all in relation to referral fees. We've got this bill going through. The debate is focused on referral fees. We've got a bill going through that doesn't even mention them. Yet the one somehow validates the other, which is logic chopping in the worst example of logic chopping. Yet it's all seen because it's all just there in the claims industry, isn't it? Well, the answer is no. That's not true. The answer is that there are people who know and who have been willing to help and who are still willing to help, and I count myself and others um, amongst that number. If there are uh, issues, if there are things that need remedying, there are well-known remedies that do not involve sacrificing civil justice for a generation. And you know, it's, far, it's all well and good, and I'm, I'm trying not to be too topical, but do you know, News Corporation and what they've been doing in terms of phone hacking. Well, maybe if you're Sienna Miller, you can go and get a lawyer and not worry about the lawyer's fees. But if you're not Sienna Miller, and if you've got no money to pay a lawyer, and you daren't pay the lawyer's fees of the news corporation if somehow you would come to lose, then what you would do is you'd get a CFA with your lawyer. The sort of thing that they're proposing to play with, effectively abandon. And you would get an after event insurance policy to pay news corporations costs in the event that you lost. And do you know what? Word has reached me that Millie Dower's parents did exactly that when they came to sue the news of the world for the phone hacking involved in that tragedy. And if you are going to take away that particular route for people like that to have access to justice, or just as importantly, it seems to me, a mesothelioma victim who is just going to die an agonising death because of negligence of his employers 20 or 30 or 40 years ago, <clears throat> then you ought to do that in the light of a properly focused debate. It's no good running headlines about referral industries which actually are at the behest of your friends the insurance industry and then at the same time claiming that the proposals, you, proposals for change you make will assist those very people who were themselves the wrongdoers time and time again. Okay so there you have it. You've got five clauses of a bill which will ruin civil justice for a decade. Five clauses of a bill of 119 clauses, when the rest of it is all focused on much sexier things for the press, like knife crime. Yet, when the topic comes to be debated, even then we focus on something like the referral fees that the bill itself doesn't cover. What we don't have is any debate about how it will affect the ordinary person getting to court to take on the big company or the big insurer. 
We have none of that. We have instead huff and puff and no substance. Thanks for listening.